I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is uh, December 9th, 2020. In this video, I'll be going over how I use 3D printing to fix a broken stool I have. Okay, so here is the stool in question that got broken a little bit. Um, and there may be certain people who may be in this room, not me, who broke it. Um, and I'm not saying the other person in question was to blame per se, but anyone could have done this. What happened was, okay, we got a couple of these stools at Costco. We're going to try something that I knew they'd end up in the garage. So, uh, but the nice thing about it is they have this little backing. Now what happened is, if you don't think about it, you just go sit on here. Somebody sat here and there's enough pressure that it broke. And so, uh, but overall the stool is still fine. So what we, if you see under here, what happened was, as far as I can tell, without t I, didn't, I haven't taken this all apart, but I'm guessing down here is just probably some particle board or something, and you can see the whole thing just got brought, snapped right there. So I thought, hey, maybe I can reinforce it. So, what I have done, uh, as part of this, and I'll go over some of the details here and further on the video, is uh, I did a lot of experimentation to make sure I would get this size right. So I printed out a bunch of different little sizes to make sure I get this um, angle correct and that would fit. Uh, and then I finally came up with this monstrosity. So here is this giant monstrosity. And I, I have two of them printed because I actually want to put one on both sides to support this. And so I put one on, you can see all the holes here. I put one on last night and it seemed to work just fine. Now really, proper way to probably really honestly fix this, take this whole thing apart and then replace this piece of wood with something stronger. But, what are the chances I can actually get that back looking <laughs> good? I think that's about zero. And since no one pays attention underneath here, I thought, hey, we'll just do it like this. And I also have these, uh, here we go, I have these. Just in my garage, I happen to have these one and a quarter inch screws that I happen to use for different things. And as you can see in the design, I got this popping up a little bit. That's because otherwise the screws will go too far into the wood and you're going to sit on the screw and that's really going to hurt. So that's the reason behind this. So I got that. Of course, I'm not going to take the time to screw them all in, but I bolted them up, screwed them all in, and it actually worked pretty well. And so right now you can see it's still going to bend until I get them. Wow. Let me show that. Until, even though those two are in, you can see it's still moving. But the more and more of these guys I get in, the less it's going to move. Anyway, we'll come back to that. Then we'll get them all together and we'll show you finished product. Finished product. Let me go over a few things. So first of all, one, uh, whenever you're doing things like this, make sure to make, it's a good idea to make cheap mistakes. So at first I wasn't quite sure the radius and different things, even though I measured it. So I printed out some small things. I also wasn't sure about the depth and size of my screws that I had to go in there. So I kept doing different sizes here and different depths until I got one that worked. It worked pretty good for me. So always, you know, spend some time making, printing out some cheap ones, cheap mistakes, small things to experiment before you get to where you're finally to go. Uh, but with that, let me go to the numbers. So the thing I designed, it took 17 hours and 42 minutes to print. It took, uh, point, took uh, uh, 10, 14.1 cents electricity, and it weighs 0.136 kilograms. At $20 per kilogram, that comes up to $2.72 worth of material, and total cost to print one of these is about two eighty six. but I got two. So it took $5.72 to print both of them. You throw in a couple of screws. Uh, you know, it's probably six, seven, eight bucks to get this uh, stool fixed, which, eh, not a bad idea. But overall, I'm happy. It was a good uh, project. I'm happy with it so far. Uh, but lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I, I designed this project in OpenSCAD, so I want to go through really quickly and try to repeat what I did to show you how um, I did it in OpenSCAD. Not OpenSCAD, did I say OpenSCAD? I meant Fusion 360. This I did in Fusion 360. So let me go through real quick um, how to design it. Okay, so here's Infusion 360, but I'm going to try to remake what I did as best as I can. Um, and with that, I'm just going to mock up a little bit really quickly. So I'm going to give myself a little challenge here to see if I can get this done within six minutes. So I have a little timer. So, because who wants to watch a three-hour video of me trying to design this? So let me see if I can get 
close to what I've made here in six minutes. So let me start my timer here. So I'm going to go over here in Fusion, uh, Fusion, in Fusion 360. I have a new file here. Click on Origin so I can see that. Click on here, uh, uh, create a sketch. And go to the top here, hit S. I got my circle tool for inner diameter. And so my outer diameter, I think it was like 130. I'll just say that even if I'm wrong, I'm just gonna, we're gonna go quick. And we'll say 150, uh, 120, 100, not that. Boom, we'll just say that. It's gonna be totally wrong measurements, but we'll get this, the correct idea. And so what I wanna do from here is now I determine that I want to do a 75 degree angle for the art for the whole thing. So I can come down here and what I can do is I can, you can see these numbers change. So I can press tab, there's 90 degrees, which represents what I'm right now. And I can say 90 plus 75 divided by two. Nope. Boom, which gets me right there. I can click on that. Uh, and then from here, I could do a couple of things. Uh, let me, well, let me make a line right here because we want to make a line right there, make it a construction line. And I'll just use mirror so I can just say, okay, take that and oh, I don't want to do that. Take that one thing and mirror it over there and boom. So there's my rough arc, 75 degrees. Now I want to put a circle on there so I can say, and click on the circle. Oh, wait, let me go back. Hit T for trim and I can cut these out. Boom, boom. The reason I'm doing that, it helps me to, to get the uh, midpoint. So do a circle here. If I hover over here, we'll see that little triangle shows up that says I'm in the circle. Hit that, hit escape, hit trim, and I can do boom, 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 and there is that little arc. And in fact, you know what? I should just mirror the whole thing. So I'll erase that, which is a weird way of doing it. And I'll say mirror this, and select the mirror line, Oops, select the mirror line, boom. There we go, boom, now we got that. So now from there, we want to get the, um, Need to draw a few more things on here. We want to get that center line. So I'll just say, I'll do a circle again. And so we have 130 and 100. So we'll do the middle of that. So here I can hit, uh, I can say 130 plus 100 divided by two. Let me, I love this that you can do math in here. So that gives me that midpoint, right? But I need some space. So I'll say plus five. And that gives me that one. We'll do the same thing. We want to get on the other side of that. So we'll say 100 plus 130 divided by 2 minus 5. Boom. And you can see that's kind of that's kind of fat. So I can go back and click on these. Ah, not minus 5, minus uh, 2.5. And plus 2.5. Okay, that gives me a little bit better arc. Okay, so there we are with that. And then uh, Two minutes, 50 seconds. I'm not very good at this, am I? Then we can finish the sketch. And another sketch I want to do is on this plane, create an offset sketch. And look right there. And now, well, how do I do that best? So I'm on that plane. I hit my line tool, hit there. And I'll just go up straight right here just so I can get a reference. Hit a line right here. And go straight, hit escape. That just makes sure that I can hit those points. Uh, ooh, no, you know, I should do another thing. Uh, do a line right here. Boom, straight, escape, line, escape. Okay. And then uh, from here, I don't know, I'm gonna do, I, I chose a specific height. Ooh, I, I, I did that. Okay, let me, I went up 80 meters, 80 millimeters, what I did, which is pretty high. Okay. So, okay, there we go. So hit a line here, make it a little fatter. And here I can click on that and I can extend. There we go, extend it all the way. And then I can come up here. Uh, I'll say a line right there and just trim that. And then I can go midpoint here, maybe. Oh no, I can say line here, two here. And I can choose the midpoint there. 
There's a weird way of doing it. Yeah, you can mirror it. This is, I guess, a weird way I can say that. Mirror it right there. Hit OK. That's a weird way of doing it. And I can just delete all this stuff. OK, so I have that up there. And then I can come down here and say, well, he's going to be weird, aren't they? This is so not the same measurements as my stool, but you get the idea. Extend that guy there. And delete that. Maybe not that one. Delete that guy. There we go. Come in here and do a three point arc up there. Make it nice. Yeah, mine's definitely not nearly as skinny as this. There we go. Boom. Okay, and then we can wipe these out to make my life simpler. Okay, and then. Finish the sketch. Ah, six minutes. Not successful at that. I think six minutes is probably too short. So let me keep going. Ooh. Modify. Okay, so now that I have that, I can um, make a 3D point. I can make a, I can rotate it. So I can revolve. So I can choose this, choose that, choose the axis to revolve around, choose that. And I can go, I did this before. I, I did 75 divided by 2, which brings me right to that edge. And I can say, I didn't do this. I could do two sides. Uh, symmetric two sides. Boom. I should have done that last time. Learn new things as you go. Okay, so that's that outline. Now I'll go back here and I will remove that body for a second. And I will go back and edit. Click on here, edit this first sketch because I want to get some of those lines in here. So, oh, I shouldn't erase those lines to begin with, I guess. Okay, let me bring that line back and bring that line back. And then I can come down here and say, okay, I'm 90 degrees, 45, that's weird. Okay, boom. Okay, line from here, arcing out, 90 plus, um, let's just call it two degrees. And then we'll do the same thing. Over here, we know this is, uh, we know this is 127, wow, we know 90 plus 75 divided by 2 gets us right there. But then we want to subtract 4 degrees, or 2 degrees, 2 degrees, boom, gets us right there. We'll trim that guy up. And then we want one more in here, so we'll say, Right here in the middle, we have 75. We have, let's see, 90 plus 75 divided by two gets you right there in the middle. Ah, no, 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 no. 90, so we have that 90 degrees to default. Oh, divided by four, divided by four. We'll make it negative because we're just doing this one side. That gets us right there. And then we want to add one. And do it right there, boom. Then we'll do the same thing, but now we will do something. Where are you, angle? Okay, 90 plus 75 divided by four, minus one. Okay, totally did that wrong. Escape. Ugh. Line. Come down here. Do 90 plus 75 divided by 4. Uh, plus 1. There we go. Boom. Okay, so now I can come back and I could trim these out. I press the T key to go into to trim mode. And then I can do a mirror. I can mirror. Oh, not that object. I can select. Uh, well, I already got that in the size. I can select that, 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 and that. And select the mirror line. Boom. So they're over here now. Boom. Finish. Okay. So that one's a little fat. But that's okay. Well, it's just a demonstration. Okay. So now we've got that. But I want to subtract some stuff so I can remove the body real quick. 
and I can come down here and I can say Q for press pull and I can choose these intersections. Why isn't that, that did not go all the way. Oh. Okay, that would be, we need to extend that. Something's wrong right there. Mm -hmm. Didn't sketch. That one needs to be extended. And so does that one. Okay. Don't know why that happened, but it did. Okay, so now we can come back here and choose. Holding the shift key down as I choose all these. Press Q for the press pull tool. Bring the body back so we can see it. And go and just slice and dice. And over here, cut to choose chosen. So I hit OK. Boom. And we got that. So we got something going on. And let me bring back the sketch because it disappeared. And let me turn the body off because the next thing I need to do is I need to raise the whole thing up. Otherwise, we're not going to have any thickness to it to begin with. Man, so much for my six minutes, huh? Okay, Q for press pull. Bring the bodies back. And we'll go up uh, 10 millimeters, I think is what I did originally. But I don't want to cut, I want to join. So, oh, it looks really thick. Let me just say five. But I think I did 10 on mine. I think my measurements are way off here. So, we got that. We bring the sketches out. And we're pretty close. See, we got most of what I got done. I mean, it's not quite the right shape, but it's there. And then the last thing we I did is I can go here and I can say, click on that top if I want and say, well, there's different ways to do this. I say, create a sketch, go here. Cause now I'm kind of an offset plane. And so now I can go make these little circles. So I'm not going to place them perfectly here. I did in my other video, but Hey, we're pressed for time. So I'll say two and I, th I think I did four and eight. So I'll say two. Oh, we're not seeing our sketch. Ah, that's why I sketch was really long. Okay. So there's that. I'll say, make that one four. Boom. And of course you could do a bunch of these. I'll just do two just to demonstrate. And of course right now I'm not lining them up in my other one. I lined them up really well. Four, boom, hit finish. And then now I can say, okay, choose the inner circle. Maybe. There we go, make the body go away. Okay, choose the inner circle, bring the body back, and press Q for press pull tool. And let's press it down. And rather than just go through like that, I can say, uh, click on that and say, oh, no, let's say, so, not from object. Select that. Oh. What do I just do? Okay. Q. Ah, just messed that up again. Okay, party. We'll choose. That one, that one, Q for press pull. We'll bring the body back. And I'm on the bottom now. And so rather than, so you can see here, I'm halfway through here. I'm cutting all the way through, but I can say, ah, oh, there you go. Two object, two object, select the bottom here. And it cuts to the object, no matter what we do. So there we are for the drill holes. And then I can come back here and say, okay, turn that off. Turn that sketch on, choose the outer ring. And I'll do the same thing. Press pull, bring the body back. And I think I went up like, yeah, I think I went up seven millimeters. I'll just say five. And I want to join, not cut. And there we go. We got that on that side. And if I flip it around, no, nope. what did I just do? Don't do that. If I flip it around, we'll see it's on the other side too. So that's the basics of how I got that done.
And then of course, when you're done, um, you can kind of click on, click on here and say, save as an SDL, prep it and print it. So, whew, a little off on my six minutes, but still rather quick for me, because I like to explain too much. So anyway, there's all that stuff. And let me go show the final product. Okay, got it all on. I had to redo the first section because I kind of forgot about this little thing. I was too far over on this one. So here is my double psychotic overkill. This is just way too much, but eh, I got a 3D printer. I can push a button and overkill it, right? So that's what we did. The brake's right about there. And so these have way too many screws in them, but I think you need, you can't just do them on the end. So I needed that support. So, um, call it good. It's not going over anymore. And the person who may or may not have broken it tested it and got their approval. So, uh, kind of has a cool look from the other side now. Though. I like, I kind of like that look. Uh, but I'm fixed with prejudice. That is just way overkill. But for a what fifty dollar stool. But hey, it's fixed now. I like the stool. I want to keep it. Nothing else is wrong with it. So, hooray. Sorry for the lack of videos recently. I had a lot of backyard landscaping that I had to get done over the summer and it was more than I bargained for and it aided in my 3D printing time big time. But now I'm back, not with a vengeance, but slowly, steadily the videos should start flowing again, or at least that's my plan for now.